Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are playing with the 248k mod and kind of trying to figure it out, figure out what it does, um, all those kinds of things. Uh, last time we built a mini mall here that makes some stuff. It's supposed to make a bunch of assemblers, which we don't have access to yet. And also mining drills and pipes. We also have an inserter mall, which is really functioning quite well right now. So it's pretty exciting. I think things are going really well. We're um, making a lot of product right now. We have many assemblers making green circuits. We have a lot of smelting happening. Uh, we still need to finish a lot of some of these things. Let's just get these guys going. We had we were missing inserters. I am using the nanobots mod, which is extremely handy for uh, letting the robots place things. The uh, the bots you have to pay for them, so it is a bit of a balance thing. Like right now, I'm gonna have to go pick up some. Do I need any more? Oh no, I can just feed them. I have plenty. Okay, uh, but yeah, you do have to pay them for them because they're like a one-time use thing. Anyway, uh, let's go up here and just finish off this these areas. Um, three of these smelters are just for feeding green circuits and then the rest go to the bus. So we have quite an extensive thing going on here. We haven't finished these smelters. These are going to be for extra iron lines, but we haven't gotten that far yet. We may not even need them. Uh, for quite a while. We don't actually have enough iron to feed them either. So that's going to be later land. Now we did expand power in the last episode as well. So that's kind of an important item. So what we need to do in this episode is get science running because it hasn't run for a little bit. Now I'm not particularly worried about that because science is, um, you usually do it much faster than you can build with it, like the things that you need to build. So uh, it's not a big deal at all. But what I thought about doing is having a reverse bus going downward and having the science array down here. So we're going to do that. Um, in general, we're going to have uh, six sciences. So we're going to just put those here. Let's do six. Wait, do we have seven? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see, in the research tree, let's go to the very bottom and show us what it has. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we have six and there was an extra one on here. I don't know if I should plan for that or not really care. Then there's these things. Look at those white pack, black pack, yellow pack. Ah, yeah, this one, exotic science packs. I wonder what the heck those are. Anyway, uh, so let's plan for all of those. Let's do six. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we only need four belts because they can be half and half on each belt. That's how I usually like to do things on this. I usually don't do full belts of each kind. So let's just do this. Okay. And to make life... Oh, don't do that. Nigh. Okay, that's fine. Copy this and just go across and this will make life a lot easier as you see mm. tasty okay so these guys are actually going to be um yeah we need to do a specific kind of array here um let's put down the science buildings first let's go one away let's just do it like this for now uh, no, do not thing. Come on, behave yourself. I'm just going to have the nanobots place them then. All right, there we go. So the thing is, is we need to have a repeatable thing, which is a three kind of gap, I think. Was it, let's see, this one, one, two, three, like that, I think. Yeah, that's the repeat. That's the repetition right there. And then we'll have other ones between that, I believe, right? I think that's right. This one. Yeah, this one needs this here there, like that. And then we'll have red belts interweaving between these. And of course, I have done it completely wrong. Well, not completely wrong. It's only partially wrong. It just needs to move one over. So then what you do here is you need to have these guys doing this and then you have these guys doing this and then you have a power pole in between and that power pole will hit this one on the other side so this is our repeatable belt pattern currently um 
it will change a tiny bit once we get red belts. But right now we only have two sciences, so we don't need to worry about that so much. So let's just copy uh, two thingies. Yes. Okay. And then again, and then we can just have them keep on going as long as we have science labs. I don't know how, how many we have. Okay. We've run out. That's good. That is good. So we'll just go ahead and just remove these guys. Very good. Now then, we have made power all the way down here. We just need to connect it to things. So we're going to have red and green go on this belt and they are going to feed into these labs. Okay, let's take this down this way. Now I'm kind of wondering how do I do these red and green labs? I'm thinking maybe just putting them here actually, uh, because why not? I mean, there's plenty of space. So with red and green, let's just do red first. That's always easy peasy. Now red science, as we found out from a previous, uh, yeah, the first episode actually, is just um, copper plates and iron gears. And so these have a five second crafting time. And I usually do like uh, two, two per second. So I usually do 10 of these, as I recall. Yep. And I think we only need one gear maker to satisfy that, I believe. Is that right? Let's see. These, yeah, are half a second crafting time. So in five seconds, this can make 10 gears. Yep, that's that's the reason we do that. Let's see, one, two. So we'll start here, one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right, so we have two belts coming in. Actually, we only need one belt coming in. We don't need two, we just need one. Uh, all right, yay. And then we need one belt coming out and this is going to be red science. And I think we're going to put green science on the other side. So let's just get this going like this. Okay. And then we're going to make red science and red science. And I think we're just going to do a power pole like this. And I think that's what we need. So we're just going to copy this layout here and just paste it on top of everything else so we don't have to worry about finagling things and it's going to be fine so this one is going to give us gears so what we're going to do with this is we're going to have an output here uh, but we need an input over here and this is where we're going to just get iron from the world so i think i'm thinking we might use this belt because it's closest so let's just remove some of these things and I'm going to put in these guys here to prioritize to the right. Copy paste. Okay. And then we get another one of these there and then get this and here and there. Perfect. And then we continue the green circuits. So what we need to do here then, this one is going to output on the right side of the belt. So here we need to make sure that this goes on the inner side of the belt, right? Uh, we could do this or just simply that. So that is how that's going to work. I'll show you how that goes. Okay, there we go. And things are happening. Hooray. So that is going to probably just interact this way. What we can do is just take this one off, like remove this and put this this way. Those belts are just placeholders by right now, just by the way. Now then what we want to do for green science is a little bit different. It needs both uh, inserters as well as the uh, transport belts. So what I'm going to do is just copy. Actually, we can do control V again and we'll just do it this way. And I think we need six of these or 12 uh, because they are every six seconds, as I recall. 
uh, yes, yeah, six seconds crafting time. So we're going to change this to be green science. Okay, copy, paste. Again, um, shift right click to copy, shift left click to paste. So these are gonna, let's see, this is gonna be an upward thingy-majingy and this one is gonna be a downward thingy-majingy. And yep, that's how that's gonna work. Copy and paste this. Actually, we really don't need the inner one here. So if we just copy this part, it's going to work nicely. And then we can copy this part with the belts till we have 12. So two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. Maybe, <laughs> there we go. We do need a tiny bit more belt here, but that's fine. No, no problem at all. We can also remove these little extra bits of belt on the end. And we also need to add a power pole there because we were missing one. All right, so there we go. Uh, easy peasy. So now we need to create belts and inserters for this stuff, okay? Um, I usually like to do this. Let's see, we need, let's see, one belt and one inserter uh, per second, or is it two per second? Hold on. They're made every half a second, I think. I think they are. Yeah, every half a second. This one makes two every half second. So we need one of these machines, and I think we need two inserter machines, maybe? Um, but this one needs one every half second, and one gear. So gears are made also one every half second. I think you only need one machine of each, though. I think you need one belt machine and one gear machine or one uh, inserter but you need two gear machines as I recall okay uh, let's do that then so this is gonna be belts okay and then we need to have a gear machine here and the gear machine I usually share between them and then put an extra one so like this way and that way and I usually put the power poles in between so that they can cover the outsides of the machines to, to just power the, um, the inserters on either side. And we'll move this one because that's inefficient to do this. I can put it there instead. So here we're going to make an inserter. Inserter, inserter. There we go. And this one has got to go on the inside of the belt. So something like this, I usually do. Um, and then we want another, I think we need another gear machine if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure we do. So gear machine again here, paste to feed that. I think we need another one. So yeah. All right, anyway, let's get our iron on this one. An iron on the inside very specifically because you don't need a long inserter for it. Um, you just are able to use it uh, uh, fast and you, you can use... These guys are, are faster than the long in, long handed inserters. So it's really good to have those that way. Okay, so we have stuff. We just need to... Let's connect it and see where we're at. Um, let's get our two belt. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Oops. There we are. Nice, nice, nice. There we are. I think that's what we need. We do need a green circuit thingy for here. So let's take that down and grab green circuits. Looks like that is going to be from here. and then just squiggle it. I can actually make it a little bit shorter. That's that's not a problem. I think that's probably better in general. Okay, and oh, I love this song. This is like my favorite song of Factorio. It's so great. Okay, so here we are, we have belts and we're almost have inserters. There they are. Hey, there they are, hand in hand, walking side by side. There are two 
happy companions in this wonderful game. And so soon we shall have green science. All right, which means we can actually start actually getting science. Wait, why is this not connected? Oh no, we could have been sciencing by now. Shoot. Okay, there we go, there we go. Hopefully now, maybe? Nye? What? Hello? Why? Oh, because here, I see. All right, there we go. Maybe. Yes. Okay, we have glow. <laughs> we have the glow. Okay, so some... We, we messed up something here. Did we not do this properly? I guess it's not enough power poles. Huh. All right, well, I guess we, we kind of missed that. I think I I put them in the wrong sequence. I think that's the problem. Because I think you can get it with one power pull, but I just didn't. Didn't. <laughs> I just didn't. Nope, didn't happen. Sorry. Okay, so we now actually have science, which is great. Happy days are here again. So those are done. So now we need to make our way, I think, to blue science. So we're going to figure out... Um, yeah, we do have the quest log and FNEI, but so far we haven't really had any issues with anything. I think we can do the tool belt as well. That's another important research. It basically expands our inventory. Uh, circuit network I would like as well. What is this thing? Electronic stage. Okay. Allows you to get into the first stage of the 248k mod. Oh, that sounds very fancy. I think we'll take that. Let's try that. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, we can also start building steel processing. Let's get that. Fancy flight. Launch players and direct air traffic. Oh my god. That sounds crazy. Directed bounce pads. You know what? We should get this. This actually might be really good. Let's see. Let's skip some of this other stuff and just get that stuff. Because like I think that might help us get to the other side of the factory faster you know what i mean uh all right let's just get these things and this thing steel would be good ah steel axe would be nice as well okay let's let that happen and i think what we can do is let's just pick up some more materials we need more assemblers here wait why is this not functioning there's no gears oh bad okay that is not ideal okay we got oh we need to limit this box to like four i think pick up these as well we have many things in our inventory which is okay good good okay so we got what did we get those bounce pads directed bounce pad okay 10 tiles Let's make some. Let's see what this does. Hello? It's not doing anything. Click to toggle range visibility and alt view. Okay, but it's not doing anything. I'm really bewildered about these things from this mod. I'm kind of like Dang, what's going on with this? Like, is this working? Let's see. Let's see, I'm going here. Do I have to be on a belt? Player launcher's in the way. No, it didn't do anything. wonder what's up with this. Not operable. Stand on top and propel the interact key. F? Oh, okay. That's uh, interesting. I don't know if that's much faster than walking. I'm not that impressed with this. Huh. Let's see, open chest recipe. I'm kind of curious about that, like, power line riding thing, though. That seems cool. I feel like these are kind of, like, meh. I don't know what's going on with them. They don't seem to really work the way they are advertised. Uh, the player launcher was... It did work, but it... Like, the other one didn't. The bounce pad. Like, what? Items or players thrown. Well, we couldn't get the um, inserters to work, remember? The thrower, it just wouldn't do anything. Range can be configured once researched. 
but it doesn't say like how to because it had that script disabled thing on it i don't know it was weird it was weird okay let's copy this uh actually this here let's just do this okay And just add a little bit more green circuit capacity. I haven't calculated how much, uh, how many arrays. I usually just build until the belt run dr runs dry. That's kind of how I do things with uh, some of this stuff. And that's kind of all you really need to know. You don't have to calculate everything down to the last detail with stuff. I mean, if you're doing a huge build, you might want to, just because there's a lot of waste involved if you don't calculate um, but with things like green circuits, you need mountains of them, so it's okay to build mountains of them. It's very handy. Okay, I think I need to go shopping at the mall again. Need some belts. I would re I really am excited to get the spider tron as well. That's gonna be exciting. Or it's gonna be, yeah, more than exciting. It's gonna be thrilling! Thrills, chills, and spills. All the things. Why is this not working? Needs green chips. Okay. Uh. Maybe. I guess I need that there. And then this can be there. Okay. Works. It's good to make sure all the things work. Okay, and we have so much science going on. This is amazingly cool. Actually, we have way too many inserters, I think. But I'm going to be excited to get stuff. Now, what one of the things that we don't yet have, and I would really like to have, is um, some stone. So I'm thinking we should build another one of these arrays for stone. Now, stone, it has... Uh, you only need half an array because it takes two stone per thingy. So let's see, 24... There we go, that's 24 instead of 48. So we'll put a stone array. Where should we do this stone? Stone is here. So we could just do it here and make it quite simple and like output it there. I think that, that would work nicely. Uh, we'll put it there. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, because stone, yeah, it takes two stone per each block. And I'll go ahead and reverse this center belt so that it goes the other way. There we go. I think we can do... Oh, that's way too wide. I didn't realize that. Okay, here we go. So let's see. What we can do is feed... Hmm. So these things are very useful, but I think we may have to do other things with this whole situation here. Uh, oops, I should have just done this for the whole thing. But it's okay, no worries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this stuff uh here and we're gonna just take it out to the left instead like this like that oh this worked out perfectly that's so nice oh wait uh except it didn't <laughs> whoops uh we have slight slight problems with electricity right now okay that one doesn't do anything so what we need to do is take out every other thingy or something. Let's just take this row out and do this. This is how speedrunners do this. They just like do the uh, electrical in between and it works so nicely. See, this does not fit, so we're gonna have to do the same thing down here. Uh, mm -mm -mm. 
just basically do this and again and it doesn't really matter too much we just want to make sure that it gets sorted so and we're going to use the priority splitter function with this as well so i'm going to combine these into one uh, and then we're going to take, I think what we want to do is put the copper, let's see, output, let's see, filter, we're going to do copper ore. Wow, there's so many cool icons that are, I can't wait to get to. We're not quite there yet. Wait, why are we not seeing, there we go, copper ore, filter it to the left. Okay, so there's always some stone on the right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to prioritize this. Uh, yeah, right input priority so that it takes all of the copper from this line. And then the stone is going to go here to this line and get smelted into bricks. There we go. Let's go down here and connect. Boom. Now then, the other thing that we don't have is... We do not yet have coal, but I think we can bring that up from there. Okay, let's do something like this, this, that, that. Oh, that worked. No, no, it didn't work. Eh, there we go. Messed that up. Okay, and do this. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. So that's going to get coal to this situation. We don't, we don't actually need the splitter there right now because it's only one thing. I don't know that we're going to actually add any more to this. So here we go. We're going to get stone blocks. Yay. And I guess we just put them in a box or something. Let's just put them in a couple of boxes maybe. Let's make some bigger. Let's see. This has 32. This is also 32. Iron chest open chest what regular iron chest i don't huh oh without its lid so items can fall into it what an idea that's very funny um huh funky we'll just put in a couple of these and just have them in boxes for now okay very good so let's see how is this flowing is this working at all maybe uh soon maybe uh okay and they are both generating copper a little bit of copper each one all right what we could also do there's an, another thing i think i should do is that um because these two lines seem to be moving at different rates maybe we should mix it up so they're both moving or both taking from the thingy potentially yeah all right anyway we'll see how that works but we are making stone which is kind of good uh we have steel processing finished okay so let's look at our tech again and see what we got here we have electric zip line this sounds amazing uh let's get this this sounds crazy i want to do that uh, we also have solar energy. I want to make some solar panels really quick, especially to power the coal miners. That's going to be important. I kind of want to disconnect the coal miners from the rest of the network and just use solar to panel uh, to solar to panel that. Yes, <laughs> there, that's what we're going to do. Solar to panel. Um, anyway, or purification. Now, this sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and do advanced material processing. This is going to give us steel furnaces, which gives us um, the ability to smelt with half the fuel, basically. Or you use the same fuel for twice the smelting. Thrower variants. We have landfill, which we don't care about. Signal bounce pad. Nanobot speed. Electric zipline, which we're getting. Steel axe. Yeah, we'll get the steel axe. Love that. Um, no, we don't really need military until, is a Spider-Tron in military? We do need the personal power armor because it gives us more inventory space. So we might research it just for that. So let's just put that, tag that on there. And then we'll kind of come back to this and see what else we need. 
Okay, so we did get steel processing. So I want to make a steel uh, place. What we're going to need to do is smelt some steel first, ironically. Uh, let's go ahead and just do that. We'll just put in a couple of these guys. It is made just from iron plates and coal, of course. You need coal. Whoopsies. There we go. Uh, so we're going to need steel for the power poles that we're going to need for the next thingy thingy. So we're going to copy uh, one of these structures. Half of it, kind of. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, just... Just half. Like this half? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I think that's what we want. So we're going to make steel here. Steel is kind of funny. It's a very interesting thing. Okay, so these go here. Basically, I like to feed in raw ore, and then I uh, get out with steel. Some people like to do uh, plates onto a belt and then onto another set of furnaces, which is easier to set up because all you do is make another one of these and feed the iron into it. But I don't want to do that. I really want to just do the um, do other stuff here. Okay, can we finish doing this, please? Nanobots, we need more fast. Need more faster things. Okay. Let's just take this down and finish creating this thing. Oh, no, we didn't quite get that. Okay, so that's that. And the thing is, is that we need, in this section here, we really need to destroy the power poles in this section and make them the steel power poles which we don't actually have yet i don't do we actually have them wait hold on let's see let me look do we have power poles no we don't oh no uh let's look at our t again because we really need those power line power poles where are they hello let's see power Power. Power doesn't work for us. We need steel power poles, I think they're called. Steel. Why do I not see them? This is so weird. Eh? Surely we have... Did I miss them? Are the we already have them? We just have small electric pole. Let's see electric. Maybe they're under electric pole. Or, oh, here they are. Electric energy distribution one. Ugh. Okay, fine. What do we need for the? Oh, we need many things for this. Wait, really? All of these things before that? Whoa, we may have issues now. <laughs> we may have major issues right now. Uh, okay. Um, well, there is another way to do this. There is another way. Um, okay, let's see. Can I control Z? Yes, we're going to put those power poles back in. <laughs> there is another way that the speedrunners do, which is kind of interesting. Um, what I'm going to do here is we're going to copy this thing uh, over here. Okay, yes. And then we're going to remove the power poles again because we don't really need them. Uh, because we need to have more inserters. We need to have these guys. Yep, we just can go and fill this up with inserters. Because here, we have a situation where we need to output onto a thing and input onto a thing. So coal's going to come down and the steel is going to go up. There we go. Okay, and then to power these guys, we're just going to use uh something. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm not really I we may have to just change this. This is uh How do they do this? Oh, I wonder if they put half coal on here. They might do that actually. They might actually do like a half a coal belt 
half coal on this one. Okay, that, that works. We'll just fix it. Uh, Alright, so those need to be... We need to change that. Let's remove the red inserters. And then we'll just... Yeah. Wait, why did it... Hold on, don't do that. I just want to remove the red inserters. Why is it... Like, why did it delete my belt? I don't get that. All right, hopefully the nanobots will learn their lesson here. Okay, so those are going out. We're gonna do, let's do in ones as well. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Gotta be very careful not to override the other inserters. Okay. I think this is what we need here. And we need to make this go down, I think. No, we can actually make it go up. What we can do is get half the coal from this side here. Uh, I think that would work quite nicely. Let's just make sure, what we need to do is make sure that we can get coal in here all together, which it doesn't seem like we can do right now because I didn't connect it ever. So let's just do that. Okay. Okay, there we go. We now have coal. I want to make sure I know what side it goes on. It looks like it's going on the inside of the belt. So what we can do is something quite sneaky here. I want to do the sneaky thing. We can do a couple of different things. There's, we can do a, a filter on the splitter, but this is sneakier. I love the sneakiness here. So we're going to do a... We want this side. So what happens... I'll, I'll just demonstrate here so you can actually see it in here. What happens is that when you put this up next to the other thing, there's a little slot that's created. So it takes half the stuff. So what I want to do is we're going to reverse the belt on this to make it go that way. So it's going to take the inner slot and then we want it to go to this side like that. So this should put the coal on the inside of the belt so we can output on the outside of the belt. Let's see. Let's watch this happen. This is a pretty exciting. I is excited about this. It's going to be fun. Very fun. Uh, we also need to get some iron on this line too. But I just want to make sure that this coal thing works uh, because we need the outside of the belt to be free. But yeah, see, it goes through the little window. You can't really see it because it's on the opposite side. But yeah. Perfect. That is perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so... Right, we have three belts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we did get some steel. And the steel was meant to be for the power poles, by the way. Uh, but since we didn't get power poles, yep, that, that happened. I think what we can do here is, let's see, this goes to that one, this goes to that one, this one goes, oh, we actually have a thing for this one. Wow, okay, great. Um, let's just make sure that this can go. Yep, there we go. So let's see if we can share, maybe share this ore with that top belt. until we actually get more production. Okay, this is gonna be cool. So now we're gonna have a whole bunch of steel coming out on this line. So now uh, we do need to probably just filter this out and do something like take output priority right to take steel and no coal basically. Huh? Good. Okay, so there we go. So we should actually be getting steel. Now, the recipe of steel is such that uh, one steel plate 
takes five uh, iron plates. But the recipe is nice because it takes five times the amount of time to craft a steel plate than it does a, an iron plate. So 3.2 seconds and 13 or 16 seconds. Uh, so it's one to one with these uh, buildings. Okay, we now have steel. This is kind of great. Um, I'm going to put in a box here. Temporarily, of course. We do temporary stuff in here. Which is actually temporary. I'm not one of those people who says it's temporary when it's not. Because um, remember, we did actually fix the, the belt mall. The mini belt thing. We took that away and all the things. So let's see. Tech-wise, we're doing logistics too. Wow, that's 30 seconds times 200 packets. Um, how are we doing with production? It looks like there's tons. We could actually make more labs. Let's make more labs, I think. Let's make stuff. Let's just see. What, what can we do here? Just make a whole bunch of labs. What else do we need for this? Copper plate. All right. What now? Oh, iron plate now. Great. Okay. We'll just copy paste this thing. So Logistics 2 is going to give us our red belts and stuff. Let's see. Do we have... We have another radar. Where do we need to put this? Oh, way down, I think. Let's just put this kind of aligned with the other squares here. Oh, way, 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 way down. Okay. Okay, there. There's where it belongs. <laughs> Ish. That's so far away. Oh my god. Alright, let's make some power poles. Power poles seem immensely far away with this thing. And we don't have the long distance ones yet. I'm just going to drag this across the desert toward our science area. Oh my gosh, why are we crafting green chips? Jeez. Oh, here it is. Okay, so if we copy, I think we need to copy two of them. Yes, we can copy several though. Two, four, six. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's just delete these. I don't know how many extra I made. Clearly a few. Clearly a few. Yeah, might as well have all the labs we can working on this. There's no sense in, like, stockpiling science on the belt. It really just doesn't make any sense. Actually, that's a bad place. We probably, well, actually, we could put it right there and then have a gap of two or something or as far as possible. There we go. That's good enough. That works. But yeah, we, I should have picked up some green circuits. There's no reason to craft green circuits. That's just like takes ages. You know what? I'm gonna, like, just going to cancel these and not craft green circuits. Okay, but that should increase our science output significantly do, do we can we tell let's see uh items let's see in the past 10 minutes i want to look at consumption of science oh look at this yeah almost twice the amount that's crazy good nice and it's still stacking up so we're doing real well we just need to get some green green circuits Labs are not one of those things that you do like kabillions of, it feels like. You just do a few. Like, I don't know. It just feels like you wouldn't make like millions of them. Like, I don't see a reason to put them in the mall. I guess you could, but I don't really see a need to. But I... Because each science has different levels of... Like, they have different times... 
uh, and also different amounts. It's hard to actually estimate how many labs you need. I, I get that question quite often. People ask me like, how many labs do I need? And I always just say until your science runs out. <laughs> That's how many you need uh, because of the varying uh, different, you know, things that are in the game, the different science levels and things. Yeah, you don't really know how many you need. It's not a known thing. It feels like, oh gosh, we're really crafting gears. Oh no. All right. This is the sadness of handcrafting. I really hate handcrafting, but I don't know. For labs, I don't feel like I should set them up in my mall. I, I, I've, I don't think I've ever have. Have I? Maybe I have. I don't know. I don't remember actually. Okay, so at least we have this science done. I feel like we still need to follow the tech tree and like figure out what science is next. It does feel like, did we get that other science where it was talking about the materials? Let's see. Oh, we have solar pan. Oh, we should make solar panels. Absolutely. Okay, we can make electric zipline controller. Let's make one of those. Let's also make... Doesn't it look like we got any new machines. We did get, well, we did get these guys, the steel furnaces. So if we have, let's just, um, I think we can put the stone blocks on the bus as well. I feel like that is a possibility. We might need to move it in here for a tiny bit until we can yeah, get it on a proper line. Let's see, let's just put it here. Because stone furnaces are gonna need these bricks. Okay, let's take these off. We're gonna put bricks on the bus. This is a bit of a mess. Can we cross the gap? No. All right, that's fine. We'll get there anyway. Okay, here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, hmm. We were supposed to put this, not there. We're supposed to put it up here, I think. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah, instead of this. I think that's what we wanted to do. I guess it doesn't technically matter. It's a little bit less crowded if I put it up here. Maybe. And having red belts with the red undergroundies is so nice. I miss them. Okay, let's get this. Nope. Wrong thingy. There we go. Okay. And then here, I think we'll put the steel. Wait, or do we have the steel already? Where did that steel go? Wait a second. It was up here. Ah, there it is. Okay. So steel is going to have to go up, I guess. Because we're going to have these three lines of iron, apparently. Which nobody told the iron about, really. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a little squiggly there. I feel like I didn't plan enough space in this bus. But it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make it. It'll be fine. 
it's just I think I had a really strange start because of this being I think I should have put this higher so it could just feed into this directly instead of being on like what I planned for the bus that's where I went, went wrong with the organization there but it it really doesn't matter it just it all goes to the same place so it's just fine Okay, so let's see, what can we do here? Uh, I do want to make solar panels, but I don't feel like we have enough time right now in this episode because we are at the very end of it. So I think we're going to have to say goodbye for now. And thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.